Welcome to the Windows and Computers and Technology channel. And this is, of course, another thing that we're going to talk about. We have seen that Windows 11 is two things, actually, we're going to talk about. First of all, is bringing widgets. And right now, the only widget, of course, is the uh, News and Interest panel. And a lot of people said, well, that's the only thing that's in there. But we know that there's going to be widgets. So for those that remember, Windows Vista, Windows 7 had widgets that were uh, you could add to the screen. And, and then, of course, there was all hell broke loose because of security reasons, and they removed the capability. But one of the things of uh, the Windows 11 operating system is they're coming back and trying back widgets. And it seems like... First of all, right now, like I said, news and interest is the only one there, but there will be widgets that Microsoft are going to offer, probably through the Microsoft Store. So I wouldn't be surprised that widgets come from the store here. Uh, but another news that we had is that widgets might actually come also from third-party companies. That means you might be able to install widgets coming from other companies, uh, that you can download from the internet. Now, let's hope that, once again, this is going to work without security problems, but uh, it does seem that widgets is one way to go. So, we'll see, and we'll see how many widgets and how many, what's the choice they're going to have. I know Microsoft is probably going to make some to have us, at least have a certain choice of widgets, but um, it's going to be interesting to see if third-party um, widgets actually come along also. The other thing a lot of you have been talking about is when we go into start. So let's uh, let's put that back to uh, um, you know to, to, to the apps list. Uh, a lot of you have noticed that there's no live tiles. Um, if that holds true, that means that even with the next full version when it's released, there's a possibility that the uh, live tiles will not exist in Windows 11. So that means that if you are a lifestyle lover, that might be a feature you're going to miss because there doesn't seem to be live tiles um, coming to Windows 11. You know, in Windows 10, there were talk about how live tiles, they weren't sure if they're going to keep them or not. And there were a lot of discussion over that. And um, when you look at some of the discussion, the live tiles, there's other things also that were, you know, they were talking about, are, are we removing this or that? Um, it might be in Windows 11 that some of this is going to happen. They're keeping live tiles in Windows 10, but they're going to stop using them in Windows 11. So that's another possibility. Is it because people don't like, um, don't like the live tiles, don't use them? Uh, that's that's hard to that's hard to to know, but live tiles are right now not part of the operating system. So, um, and a lot of uh, a lot of articles that I've read seem to point into the direction that maybe Microsoft is moving away from live tiles uh, in Windows 11. So maybe because of performance, I don't know. Uh, maybe just because they're not popular and a lot of people don't use them. You know, live tiles were a good idea, and I used them at the start in Windows 10, honestly. I used them on Windows 8 because live tiles started there. But as time went by, live tiles were not an important thing anymore for me. It's as if I got bored of live tiles and we're not really using live tiles for any purpose, if you want. So uh, that's, that's uh, kind of an interesting uh, side to it, too. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.